wash, rinse, repeat our dishwasher. It performs nightly, on command, demands nothing in return. So can we offer it a helping hand? Our consumer reporter Chris Kamara says yes you can. And tonight he shows us the right way, apparently there is one, the right way to load the dishwasher. For a nation of United States, we are deeply divided. Coke versus Pepsi, Ford versus Chevy, Republican versus Democrat, and the dirtiest division of all, pre-rinse versus not pre-rinse. Once and for all, we are going to settle the dishwasher debate. Famous Tate appliance guy Felix Menendez objectively ends this filthy division and concludes We should not pre-rinse our dishes. You should just scrape off a dish and load it in the dishwasher. Even if you're not gonna wash it tonight, if you're not gonna get around to it till tomorrow, don't pre-rinse the dishes. Why? He points out that modern dishwashers only use three or four gallons of water. And modern dishwashing detergent is engineered accordingly. Today's high efficiency soap requires grime to form the right chemical reaction. So those smudges serve a purpose. Leave them and let your loyal domestic servant do the work. If you rinse that off, the soap that you're putting in the dishwasher will just rinse away. It, it will not do what it should be doing. You're, you're, you're depriving it of sudsing action. Don't believe him? Felix challenges us to read the manual. Nobody reads the manual. Well, I read mine and couldn't get past this. An incredibly complicated, or er, detailed, diagram for filling the cutlery basket. That is really, uh, that's very specific. Arranged by number, Samsung assigns each position a particular piece of flatware in a perplexing pattern. They're telling you even right down to the size of your fork. Felix's expert recommendation is a little less obsessive compulsive. I think as long as you put your knives down, your cutlery up, regardless of what position, I think you're going to get the best possible wash you can get. Some new British science might also help us do the dishes the right way. This University of Birmingham study reveals researchers loaded a dishwasher with soiled glasses, dirty plates, and radioactive isotopes. By analyzing the fluid dynamics inside a dishwasher, they reached some noteworthy conclusions. First, the force of the water is strongest in the center, which tells us to strategically load in a circle around it. Arrange stubborn, carb-coated dishes like spaghetti bowls around the middle, where jets will blast them. Next, place meat and egg stain plates near the edges, where they'll soak a little longer. It's possible this laboratory examination of everyday dishwashing will drive a redesign of your most reliable kitchen appliance. Well, until tomorrow's dishwasher debuts, the best advice for loading today's dishwasher... The better you load the dishwasher, the better it's gonna perform. ...is a good read of your manual. Yeah, I wish more consumers would take the time to read the owner's manual. That makes it mine. Arrange the dishes properly. Patriotic duty. When you select the heavy cycle. To educate. Try and Felix. Liberate. I'm thinking I look like the Statue of Liberty. And bridge. Match the numbers in the diagram. Our dishwashing divide. Refer to the illustration on the right. Chris Kimmel, Fox 13 News. Do not pre-rinse your dishes. Okay. You, you, do you know what this is? This is the inside of Chris's dishwasher, and it's running as we speak right now. You wonder where Chris is? He's streaming video from inside his dishwasher. This is via something called the Periscope app. Periscope lets anybody watch and add commentary, ask questions. So we invite you now to just tune in and post your comments mm. and your questions. I have a feeling Denise is gonna do that. You, we put links on our Facebook page and on our Twitter feed, and Chris is standing by to take your questions about his dishwashing dilemma. And I gotta tell you, I've got a question because my glasses always come out all smudgy and just they look yeah. awful. And I wonder if it's the water, if it's me, I don't know. So <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I wanna know that. Yeah, that is the uh, $64,000 question. It is. 
No, it's Absolutely. probably worth more than that. You We're know, all thinking about that, that right now. Hey, Paul, if you've got a question, we just... I, I just learned more about dishwashing <laughs> than you techniques ever. than I probably ever knew. Ever knew. I think yeah. I actually saw something similar on home garden TV at like 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Which is where that might end up at some no, point. Just, ser I mean, seriously, we're going to find that kind of information. It's, Nowhere. That's, and uh, the good news is it's on people's DVRs. They can rewind and, and watch it again. And it's cleverly delivered. Because over and watch it again. And, over again. Again. and then watch it again. And, and you can watch it And then fast forward too. to my forecast, which is usually how it works. I didn't know that works. kind of thing happened inside the dishwasher. There's a lot of good stuff goes on there. It's all